I just want to welcome everybody um, to our prayer and prophetic call. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, just feel free to post it in our um, in the post down below, and uh, we will pray for you. Um, Carol Joy, would you like to start with our list that we have? Yes, um, we had um, a request from somebody for spiritual healing. Um, they're moving, um, and they feel it's going to be a challenging week ahead that they have that there's lots of difficulties. So Father God, we thank you and praise you that this person has come to you seeking your, your heart for them. We pray, Father God, that by the presence of your Holy Spirit, you would empower them with wisdom beyond themselves in the move that, that is happening, that you would give them the direction that they need. And, and as I said, they believe it's going to be a challenging week. We ask, Father, that by, again, the presence of Holy Spirit, you would impart to them the strength that they need to face the obstacles that they feel are in front of them. And we pray in Jesus' name that you would knock down um, anything that is obstructing your pathway for them. Um, Lord, they've said that there will be many difficulties, but we pray for joy. We pray for a release of your presence over them. And we pray for a clear pathway um, for them, for what you have. So, Father, we pray your healing. We pray your presence. And we give you thanks and praise for what you are doing and what you have done. Jesus, we praise you because your word says that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And, and may that blessing and that assurance be upon your child in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. amen. that was good thank you Carol Joy yeah. um well we don't have any prayer other prayer requests yet but um yep nope not yet <laughs> we, we we have um somebody has asked um for prayer for um an outcome that's coming up um um in their workplace um that there's an injustice they've said um so they've got that yeah the fear about an outcome that's happening at, at oh, that's work right. yeah. thank you yeah <laughs> okay so i leave that <laughs> i'll throw you balls <laughs> <laughs> okay um Father God, I just I just lift up the, your daughter, um, and and her work situation that's affecting her spiritually and mentally, um, and we just break fear in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It has no place in her in your daughter, Lord, and we just cast that off right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Whatever the work situation is, Lord, you know what's going on, and um, I just pray that you you order our steps lord and you um you you comfort us so i just ask that you give her peace and comfort mm -hmm. and in any situation not just this one but especially this one right now since this is troubling her mm -hmm. um and i just ask that you uh order her steps so that she has peace about the whole situation and that it'll come to an end and it'll, it will pass in Jesus' name. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking as well that there's a um, verse in the Bible that's where God says, vengeance is mine. And so mm. we pray for this person. We pray that you won't become consumed with the outcome that you feel needs to happen. That, as, as Katarina said, that you would be consumed with the peace and presence of God, that you would fix your eyes on him because jesus tells us not to worry and sometimes it seems really crazy how can i not worry in this situation and so like i was saying to katrina a minute ago i pass the ball to you we have to pass it back to jesus <laughs> Jesus, how can i not worry in this situation please show me and yes. give me what i need and so that your your heart is turned towards him and and god will give you what you need so that you're not consumed 
with this need for vengeance because as Katerina prayed, God will order your steps so that your heart can be open and free. And one of the things that we've all been learning in Healing in the Kingdom is how we can transform atmospheres. And so you want to be a sign of peace in that place, regardless of what is going on. And so again, we claim that for you and we pray that over you, that you will be like a an atmosphere change changer though all this mess is happening around you and injustice, but you would be able to walk in God's love and in God's peace and that you would like kind of like cut through whatever the negativity and whatever the injustice yeah. is by your very presence. So we pray a consuming, that you will be consumed to overflowing with the love and the presence of Jesus in your life. We pray not for you in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. <laughs> um, and we also have another lady who had a seizure out of the blue mm. uh, the other day and was hospitalized and now she can't drive and they're doing all sorts of tests, but they don't know what the problem is. Um, so I, I could definitely pray for her since I also have epilepsy, but not, I don't claim that over her. <laughs> I just feel led to pray. Um, but if you want to, too, you can after me. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Father God, I just lift up this, this your, your daughter, Lord. And I just, I just, I just want to break everything that the enemy is doing to her in Jesus name. Mm. He has no rights to do that. I just, it's so frustrating and I'm so sorry you're going through it, but I understand. <laughs> um, I just pray for the ultimate power of healing for you. And that, um, I just really, I, I really pray peace and that you really lean into Jesus for the, during this process, because he has helped me so much through all of this. So um, and through everything I've been and I've had epilepsy for 31 years now. So, um, and, and I wouldn't be able to make it through without him. So yeah. I just pray that you really lean into, into Jesus through this whole process and know that he's got you in his hands and, um, you are protected and you are um, comforted through him. And I just pray just a holy protection over you that the enemy will not attack you again. It was just a one-off and it's gone in the name of Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm very sorry you're going through that. Um, and I just, I just pray peace and comfort over you right now in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. I'd, um, we're doing a service. We're doing about peace. And peace keeps coming up. And I don't know if you call it an acronym. Patient endurance attaining calm experience. So we pray that, that you would be able to endure um, that we'll all be able to endure with Christ, but we'll attain the calm, a calm experience at the end of it, that our eyes are fixed on him. And it doesn't mean that we accept everything, but we're able to walk with Jesus through whatever is going on. Yeah, there's something in here on the chat. Yeah, there is. So, um, mm. um, oh. I would like, okay, so the, it says, I would like uh, to request prayer for my friend Summer, who mm. is fighting colorectal cancer, um, mm. if I said that correctly, um, that has been become system systemic. She just recently got this news. It is very discouraging as this is now her fourth battle uh, against cancer. She starts treatment soon. Um, prayers for the cancer to be completely eradicated from her body and prayers for her family, especially her children. Mm. So, um, do, do you feel led to pray? I'll pray. Yeah, I'll pray. 
Um, yeah, Father, cancer is just not of you. And Father, we bring this precious one before, we bring summer before the throne of grace. And Holy Father, our Abba, we ask that you would look upon her um, and she would know your love um, fixed on her. And I don't know, my understanding of cancer is like, you know there's cancer because it's like all the cells go around. I just pray, I just have this picture of Father, Son and Holy Spirit surrounding you. Yeah, that's good. This may be a bizarre thing to say, but just like squeezing out the cancer from her. I pray yeah, awesome. your, yeah, I pray just like a filling of her cells, of her blood, of her capillary, of, of everything with your Holy Spirit presence and power and pray too for her children that they would be kind of caught up in the in your presence in all of this we pray for them as they as they grieve and as they they're sad but we pray that sadness will be turned to joy lord as they see you at work sickness is not your desire for this lady and for her family and so we cast that out in Jesus name and father we ask that you would render heavens and come down that you would shake the very foundations of their home and kind of like physically just it's just got this just rattle this stuff this negativity this this thing that is not of you from this lady father and we pray just like a, an influx of your presence of your healing of the the sweetness of your presence upon her and upon her home and upon her children in jesus name yeah precious mm -hmm. summer is my granddaughter's name it's very precious mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and as you saw that picture i also heard like um uh like the holy uh like water like living water that flows through her I just heard it uh, like a rushing, a rushing water sound and like it just like flowing through her, but powerfully. Wow. So, yeah, I don't, I, I just submit that. that to you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we take that. We take that. Amen. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's, there's one here that um, somebody has asked for somebody's going through a very nasty divorce from a narcissistic husband who has tried over the years oh. to use God's word as a weapon of manipulation against her. Prayers for peace okay. and that she be rooted firmly in truth. Father, just, mm. it's, it's just, it's just not of you. Um, we pray Pray cleansing of this lady's minds from the lies that has been spoken to her and over her. We pray revelation of the truth of who you see her to be. And where words have been twisted, we pray that the truth will be shown to her. And um, Father, where she has been knocked down by words from someone who she looked to to love her and care for her, we pray, Father, that you would supersede that image, um, that where trust has been broken, that she would know she can look to you for trust. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, we pray revelation to this man, um, Lord, that he be broken in you um, to, to see and to know the harm that his words have caused. But Father, we pray that on every side for this woman that she will hear words that will build her up, words that will um, mend her heart and words that will bring her into a stronger place of truth. Um, Amy's prayed that she would have peace and that she be rooted firmly in the truth. The word of God, the truth will set you free and free from, from lies, free from bondage. And so we break that hold over your life and and we pray freedom jesus said it is for freedom that he's come to set you free so may you be free from the lies but freed into the truth of who abba says you are and what he has for you and we claim that for you in jesus name 
Yeah. And I really feel I'm I'm really just sensing I feel a need to invite her yeah. into healing in the kingdom because uh -huh. it's a safe place and um we get, there's definitely people here multiple people here that can help you through getting over this trauma and um and all the lies uh, and replacing them with truth and all that stuff so mm -hmm. it just uh when you're ready um if you feel comfortable feel free to join our ministry <laughs> healing in the kingdom <laughs> amen 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 um i don't see this. i don't see any more unless you do carol joy uh, um annie is um a prayer for i think another one for seizures um eight thirty. Oh. yeah pray oh. for friends who okay. hospital hospitalized you see it now yes yeah. yes yes Sorry, <laughs> I'm not delayed or something. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, all right. Well, Father God, we lift up Annie's friend who is hospitalized with seizures, mm. and we just command oh, this to go in Jesus' name. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, I just I pray for complete healing in Jesus' name, mm. and and just bring peace and comfort and joy back into her life. Yes. Um, and that either we, I mean, ultimate healing from you is the best, right? But mm -hmm. if, if, if you're gonna, if we need, if she needs to use resources here on earth, I just pray over the doctors that they have the wisdom to know what to do, what tests mm -hmm. or they know the tests to do, but, uh, what medications to take if she needs medication, because that's all trial and error. Um, mm -hmm. I just pray that, that is if they find they they find the wisdom that you give them and they follow that so that she doesn't have to go through mm. um so much trial and error mm. um yeah so i just pray that over them because it took me 31 years to finally make my medication work <laughs> yeah. um so, so yeah so i just I, I just pray that over you and uh, that it won't be uh, a problem in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and um, yeah, before we have uh, uh, their friend whose father has died, um, it's been a year since, but issues of grief, just the whole thing of grief and loss yes. and something has happened is bringing a lot of pain. and. Um, so we really want to to pray into that situation um and father just just want to honor the the life and the love of this gentleman and the relationship that he had with his his daughters and with his children um that when you love deeply um when somebody dies it brings up so much pain and loss because love is deep and so we pray for, for not just for healing, we don't want an eradication, but Lord, we pray for your Holy Spirit balm to be over her um, as she tears, as she cries, as she grieves, as she continues to grieve, Lord, that she would know your presence upon her and upon her heart. Really, really precious um, thing grief is when it's somebody you love deeply. and. And that doesn't just go like that. It's a it's a journey. So we pray for her as she journeys with you through her grieving, um, as she looks back, as she remembers, as she rejoices, as she cries. Father, we pray that all of those emotions will be held by you. We know they're held by you. So we pray for her as she journeys. And we pray for healing over something has happened that has caused more more hurt so again we pray your healing over her um, and the family as they walk through this grief and, and we pray for all people who are grieving um yes sometimes people say get yourself together it's been a year but it's a journey and so we we ask father that um people will know your presence um 
and that they won't rush it, but that they'll walk with you. Thank you, Father. You are a healing God. Um, yes. Yeah. And we bless you for memories shared and for memories remembered um, for this lady. Yeah, pray your blessing over her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just I wrote down Jesus wept. He understood. <laughs> Yes, he does. He yes, understands, he does. Steve. He understands. Um, and I know we know that, but pray that you'll experience Jesus walking with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um I mean I don't I don't know what this means, but I just just keep hearing like for our for our friend who's grieving here is she's just such a precious gem and like mm. He wants you to know that and how much he loves you and how much he's grieving with you. You're mm -hmm. you're not alone. But like I guess is the theme. And mm -hmm. you can just lay it all out, good, bad and ugly mm -hmm. <laughs> to to him and just and he's got you. So you have you know, just 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 go through your process. Don't feel bad, don't feel guilty, don't feel whatever. Just just Yeah. Do your just let it flow, let it flow, and whatever comes out will be beautiful and it will be healing. Yeah. So we just, um, mm. I totally lost the word, but I just, oh, I seal that in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. 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 As you as you were praying, Catherine, I was just had this image of there's a verse in the Bible that says that he he catches our tears. Um, yes. like, and it's just like he that he's with us <clears throat> with you and he catches yeah. you they're precious to to him so don't hold them back ugly tears though whatever like Katrina <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah oh yeah and he um, says thank you lord for holding and comforting those who are grieving with um, all tenderness and he does yeah. he's a loving God, yeah a tender yeah a tender yeah, so thankful for God. Yeah, amen. I have no more. Um, I, yeah, I don't see any more unless you do. No, I don't see if we somebody can alert us. No, I haven't seen any more. No, no, okay. I don't. See more. Do we um? <laughs> do you want to wait? Like, should we wait a few minutes or close out in prayer? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In prayer, I think, yeah. Okay. Well, yes. I just thank you, God, for all the prayer requests that came in and mm. um, all the prayers that you're going to answer and have answered. Um, and I just seal all that's been done in Jesus' name. And we just, I just thank you so much for everything that you've ever done for us and will do and continue to do and never stop doing for us thank you for just loving us and being there for right. us and comforting us especially when we need it mm. um i just bless everybody's rest of the week right. and um yeah in jesus name amen <laughs> amen yeah that's cool Thank you, Carol Joy. <laughs> Katharina, thank you. <laughs> no, that's good, Carol. That's really good. I was, yeah. I don't know if we did.